call Sujata Talukdar ma'am to deliver her speech, ma'am. Uh, very warm good afternoon to all present. I deem it a great honor and a pleasure and a privilege to be present here amongst you today. Um, in the years that has gone by, Royal Global University has uh, has uh, become a center of great importance in terms of higher education in this area, in our locality. Uh, and, uh, and I believe in the years to come, it is going to occupy an even more important role and place in this uh, city. Having said that, Royal Global School law school in particular will play a major role. I see that because um, uh, all lawyers that emerge have a big function, a big role to play in a society. If you realize most uh, policy makers, the power holders have a law degree. Have you tried to think why is that so? Somewhere or the other, this lays the foundation for developing our thought processes and making us more conscious citizens of the country. So I believe the students here are not just earning a law degree, but are becoming better citizens by becoming more aware of the laws, the, the, um, the society at large. How does it work? Because it is never easy and uh, we may stand here and criticize a lot of the policy making, we may criticize a lot of governance, we may criticize a lot of the implementation and the execution that goes about. But believe me, it's not easy. If today a one student is given the task of organizing a mega event in your department, I think you will know what that trouble means when you have to organize four or five centers for just one event. So can you imagine that in a large scale of running a country, a state, a place? So all this put together makes the effort more important and makes it more uh, necessary and important. So why? This education counts because I believe it is this college education that empowers us and actually opens our mind. university it is thank you. This is what I didn't want. <laughs> so this is what makes you open up your mind. You're, uh, you'll, you'll become aware of uh, and observant. You learn to see and learn. A uh, lot of things uh, by being simply by being observant. You can identify the issues and realize. So this is what is most important. Uh, I have had the privilege of interacting with your Dean Sir, Dr. Boro, on numerous occasions. He is, uh, you all are really lucky to have him as your guide, as your mentor. And I also see some of our very senior officers sitting here who have joined this institute as faculty. So it is up to you now how to uh, harness that power. They have it in them. It's how you take and reciprocate and learn. Uh, we have had uh, on, uh, on numerous occasions, we have spoken that there is a legal clinic here. It's running and we want to get it running and functional, but somehow it has not materialized. But I believe you'll have a legal aid clinic. So what do you understand by legal aid clinic? What is it? What is Legal Aid Clinic supposed to know, be about? Kun Yeros Law Student, sir, Yatamar Mazottaka. It's mixed, no, sir? So when we say legal aid, or we want to start a clinic, clinical legal services, the idea is something like we have those um, community health centers in villages. I often associate our law problems with our health problems. In fact, in every meeting I try to say that as people generally don't want to go to hospitals, I mean, I don't know if I'm a doctor, 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 
but uh, as life goes on we know that sometimes these things are unavoidable unavoidable kom beshi porimane hoy and then you have to go and some have prolonged treatment they have to stay some can just work as a outpatient department and go about so similarly nobody wants to have anything to do in court court kachari pra jiman durot thakibo pari asalte himan bhal that's the normal thought process just like you don't want to visit doctors and hospitals but life shows that many a times you have to be uh you have to attend and go to hospitals similarly you have to visit courts for numerous problems kom hobo pare beshi hobo pare years and years prolonged solibo pare kabar khoru khura kam hobo pare but it it has become a part of a life just like doctors are necessary in hospitals becomes necessary courts and lawyers are also equally necessary and important so just like we know the need those community health centers and primary health centers in villages and panchayats level similarly we need legal aid clinics in our remote areas at the panchayat and block levels that is the whole idea so how does and what does this community health centers do they provide the primary or the initial health facilities they may not be able to do a major surgery they may not be able to handle a big case or big issue they will die but they can always see and tell you okay this requires major attention and they will immediately direct you to somebody that can look into your problem this is exactly what a legal aid clinic does if you a person visits you you try to solve if it is possible in the clinic itself if there major if there minor issues which can be dealt with amongst you and if you can mediate and end the issue even better with small measures small ideas and small help done if it needs greater guidance and needs to be sent to a special place show them the way direct them and help them if it requires even higher level of uh support then go to that level and give them that guidance so i hope i may i am being able to explain to you in the same parallel just like a community health center functions a primary health care system equally well your legal aid center should be then the question comes why a legal aid clinic in a college or in the university because you all only then will understand and the meaning of the true sense what is clinical legal education that's why they associate the terms together so when you have one center as such in the university students can work at the community level how as this university is legal aid clinic can take one area say one slum or a uh, one village in a particular area do some survey maybe somewhere around the university and take that area you adopt that area as your own you have some small clinic even that in that local village or area that slum in coordination with our clinic here in the university now these students who are the who will be in the legal aid clinic the students para legal volunteers i don't have any para legal volunteer in my thing from royal global university but i believe you all have a functional you'll have a functional uh, legal aid clinic so for a legal aid clinic to actually be functional even in a law college or university you need to be associated with your state legal or the district legal services authority unless you are in uh, working in tandem with us you don't exist so you might say that you all have a legal aid clinic but that's something that you all are doing it on your own and good that you all are but it's actually does not exist on our paper so you for us you don't exist so which is why today we are here we are hoping that from now on you all will be in close association with the legal services authority because the mandate says that the legal services authorities in every clinic we at least have two para legal volunteers but see the benefit of having one in a legal aid institute a legal uh, law institute or a college or university is this that you'll have so many students who can 
work as paralegal volunteers. Who are paralegal volunteers? Do you have any here in your college? Amongst you, how many of you are PLVs? Nine, no. You are? Where from? You are a Hojai PLV. How are you? You are working here? Yat kam kore apuni. Apuni Hojai PLV kore yat kene ka student? Yat masters kore yasa agote tata silo. Well, oh, well good, very good. So you have some idea of what a PLV is. Bahok. So the idea is if you have to be a paralegal volunteer, what do you do? What does a paralegal volunteer do? Paralegal volunteers are, uh, can be students, can be teachers, can be um, uh, doctors, nurses, it can be anybody who is willing to work for the community, who is willing to help them and guide them through. For that, you need some amount of understanding of the law, how the entire system works, and you have to be also aware of the different, you need to have re regular refreshment uh, in terms of refreshing your knowledge base and have idea of all the schemes and the departments and the offices. You must be at least able to identify where and how that can be solved. Which office to approach to? Where will you direct them to? Kod jabo ki koribo. Right? So somebody comes to you with, say, an Aadhaar card issue. You should be able to help them rectify. Because Aadhaar card ki ba bhula se to thik kori di bolagi. You know, there's some mistake with the Aadhaar card and I want this correct. You should be able to take them to that area, how that is done, how to apply. Somebody has a water-related problem, a dispute maybe, with the supplier of their um, water system or electricity or the postal service. Forget a courier service. There's a local courier service, and that courier service are logot kibayate issues with the delivery of items. Might sound very mundane, but sometimes this can be a big issue. Either you're able to mediate and solve it there, or you can tell them, okay, A to N, I can have, this is how it is done, or this problem should be taken to this particular office, and this is how you should apply. So for doing this, paralegal volunteers themselves need to be aware of how things are done. So this is a wonderful learning experience, particularly if you all want to become lawyers, because as lawyers, you have to do a lot of these. If you don't know where, what is filed, Registration court, hai, kuntu bostu court registration, hai, kun, ki certificate lagi bo, ki documents are provision amarata bostu dor kar If you want to seek a particular scheme or benefit to lobo bisare, what kind of certificates will you need? What will be the documents that will be sought by them? Where will you get these documents and how will you go about collecting them? them? These are the kind of things that you have to know. So this is going to be a training ground. I hope there will be more active students among you where Madam, whoever is in charge of the League and Glitter, I believe that uh, Madam Sumitra who introduced is the teacher in charge here. So Madam will be able to uh, enlist some students as paralegal volunteers so that on any given day, the working day, at least two students should be present at times uh, at the clinic who will be able to help. So for the start, for the start, uh, begin with holding small programs, awareness programs in and around your area. Then do a um, survey and come up with two or three such slums or village areas and make it as a proposal and come to the legal services authority. Then you all can officially adopt one village or a slum area, whichever, a small area that we are going to take and we are going to Adopt this. For this, some amount of survey has to be done. Because hey, local area to actually problems key. How can we help them and how can we make a difference? Then students on a regular basis have to visit those areas. First, creating awareness. Second, helping them in finding solutions for the problems. Say so some people have some certificate related issues. Here, documents kini koribo parana. Help them get those right. 
certain people want to have some uh, uh, registration done of certain documents. Kiba mati bari related registration or documents or registration. Show them the way. They have smaller things that they want to file. Kese file kur bolo gyaase, but whatever. That you should be able to help them through. Take out certificates, help them file their cases, help them open their bank account. Insurance ki hetu hikauk. Teach them what financial literacy is. Where to save money, how to save money. Why it is important to save money. And that not to take lending, borrowing from loan sharks. What should be the standard interest rate? These are very important issues. Recently we got a mail from somebody which has come all the way up from the center saying that nowadays Assam is known for loan sharks. It's sad. You give them money and the huge interest rate that the person keeps on in the cycle all the time. So even that we should be able to help those people saying that this is not, no, you, should, you need financial help, this is where you should seek the help. So these are the kind of activities that paralegal volunteers can actually do and believe me, it does leave an impact. It could be a small area. Yad Baganda in Hala Yonna District say you adopt a Ekhon Sah Bagan adopt kori lole He community to Yad ki baat a Horu Slam area Bohut dura le zabo na lage Don't take a very far away distance from your place So that communication is also easy for US students So adopt a place which has some problems Which is um, possible for you to communicate Logistically And where you can make a difference. Rata rati dunya khan bodli kori palam hetu no hoy. But some amount of difference I think all of you can do. The first line of work for you would be to download the schemes from the NALSA website. Everything is available. You should, um, add, um, the regulations in, in connection to legal aid clinics. And the particularly regulations which have come out for law schools and universities, legal aid clinics in 2013. Website or jabo pabo, download koribo, print koribo. I expect you students to read it and understand what it is. And also the scheme for paralegal volunteers. I request a teacher in charge to take the initiative, download these, circulate, and at least I hope there will be 20 student volunteers here in your legal aid clinic. Make it functional, get it running. Make it a habit that once a week you will conduct an awareness program. Awareness program conduct kuribule kunu dhorna toka paisa nalage, that's a misconception. All you need is an idea and a zeal. Horu horu team bonabo, not more than four or five people. Nize chart bona banner bonabo paribo. Bohut dangor nalage. Flyers ke khonman ebar print korang til balkot korabo bohut din solibo. And then do it. You all are such good students. I am sure you all have very many talents. Some of you can do skits on social issues. Practice them so that you can do it on the roadside. Many of you would be able to play instruments and sing. Do that to get attention of the people. The meeting need not be for hours. You, it should just be for half an hour, an hour maximum so that people don't lose interest. They shouldn't get bored. So half an hour, 45 minutes, or apunal ke kene ke impact eribo pare on any given issue. Once take up, say, the child marriage issue. So one day on a week, that one week you will devote to only creating awareness of child marriage. So hopta hot hetu koribo paribo legbo. Get out of your classrooms and your comfort zone. You'll not learn that here. You have to go work among them and also learn durin man gole gompapa. How will you collect the data? So first as students your job would be to devise a forum. We have one. We can help you. And maybe you can come up with your own because students can have better ideas. data entry form if I go to a particular area, say a slum or a village, 
and I go asking for everything, how will I bring it back? Monot tu natha kibo? Ki kori bo? Hey, form loi zabo, you have to enter the names and addresses, ki issue, hey, to column column bona apnal ke agote uniformly on his student samazar prepare kori zabo lagi bo. So, what would we need? We'll need their names, addresses, phone numbers, right? And then places to write down what are the issues. So in a one Bivan chart, we will take three issues. Say for example, so tinta attack ke jewelry town problems key. And then you come back and your homework would be to enter this and see a problem to concern department ki hobo. Say panchayat or kiba at a scheme or kiba problem, they have something with it. Which department would it be? PNRD? Where would you have to approach? Here, if it is municipality area, kiba at a municipality office or hoito dorkhasto di bola gibo. So then you have to stream it out, everybody, municipality. Gutek hini mazot, you do it. The work would be to now streamline kuntu department or kejon or keta problem asse. Make a chart. And now again, form small teams who will take which departments. So a team of five students will take the municipality department. So, jiman kita he locality he area tour manhwar jiman municipality report problem asse. Say for example, ekhon gaon gole a a village, village eight. Apunal ke trista manhwar service mane ata survey kori ani le. He trista manhwar beleg beleg dhonar problem tha kibo. Thori loisho kisa ami maximum tinta problem he likhim. Kunbar eta kobo, kunbar duta kobo, kunbar tinta kobo. Hey, Trista Manhor Bizot, five people will have issues with the municipality department or the Panchayati Raj. Another ten will have problems with electricity. Another five may have water related problems. Some will have that I want this certificate done, three or five of them. And they may have so Eketa Manhor Tinta problems. Somebody wants a certificate taken out, is a more caste certificate. Or I need a disability certificate. So your job would be to your homework would be in the clinic to maintain file bolai bolai. Kutek ta naam entry kori zabo. Kisa atta department, atta heads. Yat kar kar kuntu zabo. E atta ze vibhag kori le he atta vibhag kor apnal kor maza students or team ta ba pasta ke team bolabo. Right. So jima naami problems palu he ze bhag kori lo. A Tinta team who is in charge say, of the municipality will take up the issues of the people who have the municipality problems. So your job would be to help them sort out the problems with the municipality. Kunkhan officer go, ki application di bo lage, ke sort out ko bo lage, ki documents, everything. Another has a problem with the water supply. Kuntu officer ki kori bo lage, water supply karne, kot po ane, kun kot dor khasto di bo lage bo. Income certificate lage duzone ko se. Hey, income certificate to Kunkhan officer Prabha Pabo. Circle office. Can I apply kori bo lagi bo? Ki dhorne ani di bo? So this is how you're going to work and learn. And believe me, if you'll work in an organized manner, you'll will leave an impact. Pasta manhwag zodi apna ke disability certificate guta uliya di bo pare. Pasta zodi bank account khuli di bo pare jar door kar. Our insurance policies will start kori di pare. So that's fair enough. You're like helping some amount of people. Not in a day, not overnight, but slowly it will happen. You'll be able to do it. And in the process, you're like really going to learn how it works. Because apunal ke o which office and which department is doing what, and how much difficult it can be for, a, for an ordinary man to take out that one certificate. Maybe you all have not had it. We are the privileged ones who have not had such difficulties. But there are many people who face a lot of problems on taking out simple one certificate also. So that is how you learn to help them and deal with this. So my suggestion to you would be to awareness regularly, we got at our program hoboy lagibo. Kiba at that awareness program. Our students say koribo lagibo. Your teacher in charge will only help you. 
and not just the teacher in charge, all the teachers from the departments can help you. Right? So, if you have a good class, you can get a good class, but you can get a good class. If you have a good class, you can get a good class, next week or another five will do it. But do it. So, one, one, as you say, for example, this week, if five students are in charge of creating the awareness, another five will be doing the survey. These 20 paralegal volunteers will learn a lot. And if Apunal Kaur Mazar Prasadi Aruahe to volunteer to do, well and good. But I am hoping that 20 active participants could have passed five years a little bit ulaye zabo. Definitely ulabo. The more you work, the more you learn. And my request would be to maintain proper registers. A legal aid clinic should have a register wherein your attendance is marked. One. Another register where whoever visits should be entered with a name and address and contact details along with the problem with which they had come. Who dealt with the problem? Who has dealt with that problem and what did it lead to? If you can devise some other mechanism of managing this, well and good, but this should be maintained. You will never have records. Clinic to khuli to disek into actually apna ke hohai ke ta koi. Do you have a record of how many people did you actually help? From January to February, Duma hai loi so last Jan and Feb, how many people did you help? How many people visited your legal aid clinic? So simply saying that I have a clinic in the university will not help because very rarely somebody will enter this campus seeking legal because this is very intimidating. When you see that entire infrastructure, people, common men will never know that you all have a place like that and they'll be so intimidated. Ya ki ba frit pabo parini ki. Kalpo nae korebo nae baza ya ki ba bostu frit tu pambuli. Advice to the frit divo kuno bishak no kore. Korebo nae? Ha hi se. It's true, it's so intimidating a structure. Because nobody will think that anything will be available free here. So first and foremost, you all need to put up a huge signboard outside that you all have a free legal aid clinic. Agdom Rastar Usorot. That Royal Global University runs a free legal aid clinic and what are the timings? Put it up. So that people know there is something like this. And start making those visits nearby. Area adopt korok. Kuntu zagat zai, your area, wish. Peter Zagaliza, if a lot tribal belt or area was say, Omukase, Jaga to adopt Koro and target that one area where you'll be working on. The hey area to we are going to do awareness. It could be drugs because nowadays, um, you know, addiction is a huge problem. So you could work on that. Sirs here can be very helpful. They know what it is. NDPS or Kiha, Bhalke Zane. So they also can help you kuntu line out kene ke apnal ke awareness to create koribo. And I'm sure many of you are talented here enough to make small interesting skits to give the message. Buzi paise ne? Eje butter nut, street play. Because uh, it may be small but sometimes the impact is very big with that. So try doing it. Next time somebody comes, you should be able to perform and show that this is what we have prepared our reto ami omukhan zagat kori su. Duta man kora besi dura to nara patham practice to apnaan kori yaar bahir arasta te kora. See how it impacts. See whether you all can gather that crowd. So the first line of area is to make this functional PLV team to create kora. Bostu kini download kora, porhok. And I hope hey team to a kiki korise keneke. You have to stay associated with the legal services clinic. Mani yat apnal kor jeto. This is Kamrup Metro with our office, and say that this is how we are functioning. These are the registers we are maintaining. These are our team of paralegal volunteers. This is our teacher in charge. In a month, where and what programs you have planned? Send them beforehand. Say for the month of March, start hoegal kori diok, but at least for April, you should, last week of March, it should reach the office that in April, these are the things that you have scheduled. 
these are the awareness programs you are going to conduct and in these places. And the village that you adopt, it has to be a continuous process. So that when you organize the, your annual camp, this is, this is what we have done and this is how it has changed. So it's time to do the research and pick out an area so that your 25-hour camp to be successful. Actually impact kora bhal kam kora ho I believe you all are going to have a camp very soon. So that I don't think so can be very helpful in terms of what I said because you need some amount of time spent. But now when you adopt a village or a community of sort or a slum, keep that in mind. Or maybe the one that you adopt this time, then the whole year we are going to work on it. First line of work would be to create a data entry form, a format, uniform format. That key key details like you have to have a look. Right? That piece of the paper collect coat, hold and hope, have a bag, bag, corrock. And for all this, we are there to help. We can guide you through. Bakini Kori Dakok, A to Iman Kitami, A to Department of Palu, ma'am, A to Department of Iman Kini Palu, and a couple of Tami Kiki Kori, Aplan Kitami Dakhidim. A to Retu Jok, and a Kelly Hock, Aplan Kelly Hock, Takamiaru Pushkorim. So we are going to work like that, only then things will happen. Pura successful Noholo Kisuong He Hobode, Kagos Hile, we have done this before. It helps. Our Horu Horu help Kin Tapnake Koribo Paribozun to Ami Apuni Ekub Hobanef, but for, for somebody it really make, makes an impact. So for someone, if you can open a bank account, Kulidibo Parile, Bohud Palpai, a certificate at a Koridibo Parile. We had it a couple of months, some doctors, one lady came time and I described Koribo Parahina officer staff of Kalikuasa, or GMC Prapuna Talapotese. Ami Buzinapa Ki, this said GMC Prakamata Lekio Potese. Kotatu Hudia, so then we said, that lady's child was um, a specially able child, mentally, give a treatment. So first when my staff said, I thought Kizaniba Hyotok attendant lagi bono because medical things do not admit unless you can give an attendant with mentally healthy ill patient. They always want an attendant, attendant nidle hobita. So they asked, she said, oh, no, no, we are doing outpatient treatment. I'm willing to spend everything on my child, Muloratok Moyanaka treatment, Koraya. So then I said, I couldn't get it. I asked. The staff is a more solid lawyer, how to put us on that key, how to use a busy pony. Who said, no, how am I doctor, sir, tarp, rap, no, or any kind of code is a court or head it's a ball again. So, for a key problem, because I know a lot of to black him and in a person, it's a solid and a key key who is a then I took the chart. I, I realized the doctor had sent her to us because her child did not have a disability certificate. And the doctor understood that the child was able to get a disability certificate that the government had to help the government to help the government to help the government. The government had to do the GMC 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 to do the GMC. So I have to appreciate the doctor who thought about it. The government had to do the GMC treatment because this is a long term thing that had been going on for years and will continue. He or she must have spoken to her and realized that she does not have the certificate. But who she type buzai dilo type buzina pai ki kori bolage. So he wrote in a sheet of paper the doctor and said you go there they will take it out for you. And we actually did it. We assigned a paralegal volunteer, spoke to the social welfare department, health opera jitu lage, health opera kon lage. Heya loi meli tar disability certificate kon uliya. Jo 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 monthly ki baata amount pai for the child. It feels good when you are able to do it. So that will come, and these are not very difficult tasks. You have to just be able to know how to go about it. Anything to ask? How many of you are willing to become paralegal volunteers and work like this? Let me see. Nobody? Okay, I see a few. But have you been here, sir? Sir? Okay, good enough, ma'am. So out of them, you will find. I'm here, there will be more students and you all can find. Uh, mentor them. And I'm very hopeful that the faculty here will be also able to guide them through. And we should make it a very good function because see, you, all, you all are the privileged ones. 
who are being able to study in an institute like this, who have guide like this, teachers, faculty, and who are going to learn and learn and learn, who are not going to be able to learn and learn. They are going to be able to learn. Now is the time to help somebody and in the process learn a lot. Because if you have to go to the office and go to the office, you have to go to the certificate and you have to go to the office. Because half the time now that you all join, most of the work must have been done by your parents. Right? You don't have to cut your hair, you don't have to apply your hair. You don't have to cut your hair, you don't have to cut your hair, you don't have to cut your hair. No. So start doing it. Only when you work, you will realize what it takes to sit for an exam, to find out what NOC is going to be able to do. Right? What is the residential certificate going to be able to do? What is it going to be able to do? What is it going to be able to do? Now parents have done everything. What is it going to be able to do? What is it going to be able to do? What is it going to be able to do? Right? So now I request all of you first to read the, about the scheme. Sobore hatote smartphone ase, sobore internet connectivity ase, download the scheme. Prothamate bar ekhon ake pohok, tarpisor legal aid, free legal aid clinic or bikhoy jintu scheme ase khetu pohok. One especially, the 2013 regulations are especially for law institutes and law universities. Pohok, read the scheme for paralegal volunteers. Sob akhore akhore naholo apna ke maximum kini paribo. There will be always some constraints, but that's okay. Despite that, you can do, because we have colleges who are running such legal aid clinics here. They are pretty much functional. We are in touch. We also conduct programs there. They invite us for talks. And GTI Dorkar, maybe the involvement is less compared to other legal aid clinics, because for law colleges and institutes, law students and teachers are themselves capable enough of doing it. We only need to have time to time touch. Maybe we are more actively in involved with the legal aid clinic in the jail or the one at the one-stop center. Do you know what a one-stop center is? Can anybody tell me what a one-stop center is? So all of you have to find out, okay? There's a lot that you all need to learn because when you all are uh, handling such problems, domestic violence act, prison protection of women from domestic violence act, what say? Have you all, all fallen asleep? Did I put you all to sleep? So when you read such, you'll understand what one-stop center is. It's a scheme by which a place has been made only for women, okay? Which is a temporary shelter of sort. So up to five, uh, seven days can be extended to, I think, 10 or 15 days in special cases. So that is for somebody uh, who has, um, is a victim of some kind of violence or some adversity and she's a woman. And needs, she needs some kind of temporary shelter. So these are the places that you can stay. And here many departments put in. So the police, the legal services, the health are all connected because sometimes they may be in such bad case that they need medical help and attention. Sometimes police help is required for recovery of children or for filing of cases immediately. Police are logot jabo pray. Legal aid ulake. So we have a lot of uh, cases coming up from the one-stop center which are sent to us. So we have a legal aid clinic in the one-stop center. That means we have a paralegal volunteer deputed in the center and a legal aid counsel who is in regular touch. So these are the kind of places that when you go and visit, you really see what the problem is. So you'll understand what a protection officer is, who is a probation officer, and how that, you know, when children get into problem, the JJ Act, and how does it, we have one at the District Child Protection Unit, we have one in the Women Commission. So maybe those are more actively involved because we have a regular basis of both problems. In the colleges and universities, we are more in touch with the teacher in charge and the students. Uh, we want them to conduct some awareness programs, we do it then. Uh, but I want Royal Global to take the initiative and adopt a village. I hope, sir, that will be possible. So, uh, Thank you very much. I have not much to say. I hope I have been able to at least bring in some clarity in terms of what a legal aid clinic entails. And I really hope the legal aid clinic here uh, is able to deliver in terms of really helping the downtrodden. Thank you.
Thank you so much, ma'am, for enlightening us and also our students regarding the functioning of Legal Aid Clinic. Now, as there is an interactive session, so I would like to call the on stage Anjuman, ma'am, to moderate the session. If the students, if any of the students have any questions related with the Legal Aid Clinic, you can ask, ma'am. If anyone have, you have any issues, questions? Examples of success stories to Bohuta say that is something that just came to my mind. Um, in terms of disability certificate, I say we have successful uh, when somebody has a uh, husband say passed away. Pension uliya bolage no pension or karne bohut kagos potro di bolage. A fourth grade employee wife who is not uh, who is not uh, how do I put it? He's not. Uh, so educated or not aware of how to go about it. Paranai, paranai, I come to huanai, huanai. So those kind of women also we have helped. Is a kuntu officer he to bonai kori kori di bolage ki ba DC officer pro NOC lagi bo bank or ki ba ase hekini clear kori bolai bo because you have to understand the tired zodi agor death liabilities ase hekini clear na kora ke type pensioner paper na zai. So these are the kind of helps that we have done. We have also helped them in places where and in numerous cases we have filed. Cases. In many a times, we have only done mediation. You know what mediation is? Where uh, particularly in, uh, mediation can happen in two, three ways. Nowadays, there is we have something called uh, pre-litigation mediation. That is, if anybody comes to us with some problem, it could be just a border dispute. Maybe it's something as mundane as jabor pelwaloi. Some kind of. Now, because they are our neighbors, you don't want to immediately kick up a fight too. You don't want to go to the police and find an FIR or start up a case. But that is something that is creating a problem. If somebody speaks to you about this, how will you help them? So maybe if you are smart enough and if it is possible, PLVs. Because you make the other person aware that your neighbor is finding this troublesome and this is how you can go about it. If you're not able to do it there, then you can send it to the legal services authorities because we have trained mediators in the district. We have a mediation center and the secretary DLSA is the coordinator of the mediation center. So all mediators listed are with us and we instruct and we send them. So we will see the problem and accordingly depute a mediator to this, solve that problem. So many a times this is solved. Property dispute are solved, husband and wife problems are solved, a, um, this kind of border issues. We had one instance where the lady was saying that, you know, Azikali Gohati had to pray hoy pani kine. Okay, so water in that area, locality, almost all they have to buy from, and they all buy from one particular supplier, water supplier to Kikoi company, some kind of. It had to business or dead or on a pani bikri part of business. So one particular heri pray to kini take. She told, the lady came to us saying that a gute heritu okol teor family to they were husband and wife old aru kunba ata hai pani na pa baki saboke pani di amak pray pani ni dia edin miss kori jao mukto kora na koi sa koi su kintu etu loi play problem o mukto mukto I said okay do you want to but then they don't want to immediately file a case also because pani to teon lukor pray pay ase ar hai to area to hiyonti supply kori ase. So I said, okay, madam, you at least file name. Mono car number, number connection to us. Abla mu number to us, lady. So I said, fine. Then you give her. You write an application. We will send a notice to the other party. Come and talk. So believe me, sometimes only the notice and asking them to come to court for discussion is enough, and the problem gets solved. 
অটোমেটিকলি হেতু গম পাইলে নাই নাই হেতু কিবা কারণ ভুল হইছিল মোর মান দিয়া মানুটো প্রবলেম হইছিল অমুক তমুক কই পেলা পানি টক রেগুলার হই যাব রাইট সো দিস আর সামটাইমস ভেরি স্মল ইস্যুস দিস কাইন্ড অফ মানডেইন ইস্যুস ক্যান বি ভেরি ইজিলি সলভড এন্ড সামটাইমস উই অলসো ফাইল এ লট অফ কেসেস পার্টিকুলারলি উইথ ইনস্ট্যান্সেস লাইক দ্য ওয়ান স্টপ সেন্টার রাইট সামটাইমস উই হ্যাভ টু ফাইন শেল্টারস ফর উইমেন উই হ্যাভ ডান দ্যাট উই হ্যাভ অলসো হেল্প দেম ফাইল কেসেস ইন দ্য থানা পুলিশ স্টেশন গো হেল্প করেছো অর উই হ্যাভ গিভেন দেম এসাইন দেম লয়ার্স এন্ড ফাইল কেসেস ইন কোর্টস সো দে হ্যাভ বিন নিউমারাস ইনস্টেন্সেস লাইক দ্যাট বহুত পাব ইউল হ্যাভ টু অনলি গো ডাউন টু স্টার্ট ওয়ার্কিং এইবিল ধরনের সহায় আপনাদের বহুত করবো এটা বুঝিহে পাওয়া নাই সো ওয়ান্স ইউ স্টার্ট ওয়ার্কিং দেল বি লট অফ প্রবলেম বাট পিপল হ্যাভ টু নো দ্যাট ইউ আর আর উইলিং টু হেল্প ওকে এন্ড দেস জেনুইননেস বিকজ ওয়ান্স ইউ স্টার্ট হেল্পিং দুই চারিটা কেস করার পিছত হেল্প করার পিছত দ্য ওয়ার্ড উইল স্প্রেড এন্ড পিপল উইল অটোমেটিকলি কাম সিকিং ইউর হেল্প এটা মো কো না কোর কোর পা জি এম সির ডক্টরটোয় বা কোর পা গম পাইছে যে আমি করে দিব পো বাট আই এম গ্লেড দ্যাট হি টুক দ্যাট ইনিশিয়েটিভ এন্ড হি সেন্ট পেশেন্ট হিয়ার সো উই নাও হ্যাভ সামবডি ফ্রম এন এইচ এম ও কোবর পা মেন্টেল হেলথর কিনা হয়েছে আমাক কন্টেক্ট করব পুলিশ স্টেশনের এস আই এটায় কন্টেক্ট করবো আমাকে এই কে আসো আমাকে এই ডিপার্টমেন্ট এই এনজিও নক বাইদেও কিনা একটা অর্ডার দিয়ক সামটাইমস উই আর অলসো হেল্পলেস ইন বিকজ মেবি নট অল উই ক্যান ডু বাট সাম এমাউন্ট অফ হেল্প উই আর এবল টু ডু সো দ্যাট ইজ জেনুইনলি উই হ্যাভ ইউ অল অলসো উইল ডেন কাম টু নো কি যে কোনকিটানো এসাইন্ড এনজিও কি হোম চলাই আছে টু ইভেন নো ওয়ের ইজ এন ওল্ড এজ হোম হয় না ইয়াত নো আমার কামরূপ মেট্রোত কেখন নো ওল্ড এজ হোম আছে কোন কীখন এনজিও নো মেন্টেল পেশেন্ট মেন্টেলি ইল পেশেন্টক রাখে সেও তো জানি লাগিব কি যে আমার সিস্টেম তো নো কি হয় না ইফ ইউ সি সামবডি গোয়িং এবাউট হে অবস্থা নাই আপনি কেনকে হেল্প করব ইউ সো ই সাম চিলড্রেন লাইং ডাউন ইন দ্য রোড এন্ড আনএবল টু হাউ উইল ইউ লোকেট দ্য চাইল্ড হে চাইল্ডটুক কেনকে পোয়া বলে হেল্প করে দিব কত দিব বাচ্চাটু কার হাতত জিম্মাত দিব রাইট সো দিস আর দ্য থিংস দ্যাট ইজ পসিবল ক্যান বি ডান এন্ড ওয়ান্স ইউ গেট টু ওয়ার্ক ইট বিকামস ইন্টারেস্টিং ইভেন উইথ দ্য লেবার ডিপার্টমেন্ট চাইল্ড লেবার ক্ষেত্রটো সো এনেকা নিউমারাস ইনস্টেন্সেস পাব আর কারবার কিনা স ডান <laughs> এনে এনে নাপায় দেই কামট এসাইন হব লাগি কামট করেছে বলে গম পাব লাগবেহে পাব আর তাকু সব সময়তে নাপায় কিছুদিন যাব লাগি বিল পয়সা আহিব বিকজ ওয়েন ইটস গভর্নমেন্ট মানে ইউ ডোট গেট এড আজ কে আজ মিল গিয়া তো আজ কে আজ মিলেগা ইউল গেট এড তিন মহিনে বাদ বাট ইউল গেট এড এসা নেই তো তে হ্যাভ নট গট না উইড ইস ইটস ফার বেটার সত মানে ইন্টারভেলস সার অল্প অল্পকে হলেও আহি থাকে পয়সাটু পায় নোপা নহয় আমার প্যারা লিগল ভলেন্টিয়ার্স এন্ড উই হ্যাভ অলওয়েজ স্ট্রেস এন্ড উই টেল আর হায়ার আপস দ্যাট আনলেস ইউ গিভ দেম সাম এমাউন্ট অফ রেমুনেশন যদি যদি আমি অনরিয়াম কম যদি নাহে মানুষেনো কেউ কাম করব সো দ্যাটস দে বাট এস স্টুডেন্টস ইয়র আই থিঙ্ক ইনসেন্টিভ শুড নট বি দ্য মানি ইয়র ইনসেন্টিভ শুড বি দ্য ফ্যাক্ট দ্যাট ইউ আর গোয়িং টু লার্ন এন্ড এট দ্য এন্ড অফ ইউ থিং ইউল গেট এ সার্টিফিকেট ফ্রম আস সেইং দ্যাট ইউর হ্যাভ ওয়ার্ক ডান this now we have a lot of students from uh, nef and from nerim also who come to uh, do internship with us one week 15 days why because you learn no you get to work with those um, legal aid councils you get to see what mediation is you get to go with us for these uh, awareness programs all of holo hikha hoy right all of holo apnake hike So when you work as a paralegal volunteer for at least a couple of years when you're a student and you'll do all this kind of successful work, expect at the end of the year to get one certificate from the legal services authorities telling that you have been a good, been a good and successful paralegal volunteer. That in itself will be very helpful in the future course of things. Aru Enuka, very successful here you are. Sir, while I was in Kachar, 
I had a very good team of paralegal volunteers. We had some journalists, we had some retired high school principals, we had a retired doctor from the army. So good. And also, Sahabagan or Kormi, that Thiri. So that Teague Dholai area, that's the Mizoram border, sir. So Tehe Sahabagan or Eta Bagan. And when I went to the meeting, the, uh, he had organized one public meeting in the Panchayat Hall there. So when I, it was pretty much interior. When I went, the adulation that I received, I was shocked because they were happy. It seems more Pratham Sarkari Bihoyatat Goisu Kothapati. Can you beat that? I had no clue. So they were simply happy that one government official has turned up in their village uh, thing. And our paralegal volunteer, towards the end of the tenure, my tenure, he had to quit pay because he became Hitar Panchayatar Elections Jikile. So can you beat it? He was only working with us and doing the work there, no? So he became so popular for getting the work done in that area. He Then he got associated with us. He paid extra support to pale. Hugh he kile. Court ki kile ke goi goi kori bola ke. Courte courte he khud goi he election zikla. Ami khub ha hi suzuka isu. And he is one that was okay interior area. And another we had uh, one um, uh, in the town area. Uh, he did not join the election, but his wife became the panchayat president. Only because he used to do a lot of this work, so you get the goodwill of the people in this area. No, he could say, I am a Korea. He could bring those, uh, um, is a gas supply, uh, cooking gas, Pradhan Mantri, he to scheme out. He, Ujala scheme, right, sir. So these kind of things, schemes to assay. Into apuni appropriate manu kini logot lagi hi hoto namot goi. Ene ke atas kiyon thi abar ata area 21 ta parile korbat kiwa belak kam kori dise. Korte korte he khod itiya wasa panchayat president last year also I think when he came to Guwahati for some work he met me and went. So what I'm trying to say that it is very satisfactory and if whoever can do it with some amount of you know zeal and enthusiasm, you all will uh, forget about what happens later on laurels, but it does make you uh, find some kind of satisfaction. And people who are interested in public work, because generally young people are not you'll find it very fulfilling. Mane hohari diye no that okay fine iman apni mo hohai koi dile. Ami sa gama kam tuye kori so. Iku belag bolii bhabi kora nae. Kintu hoye tuye anon do diye kisi somebody got some relief. Karobar to kibata kam hoy gol. So it's very deeply satisfying. Right sir. Sir, PLV doing against it. Yes, <laughs> sir, um, you cannot do anything which is against the law. So a PLV always has to be conscious. That is why we have always said that paralegal volunteers need to work in consonance with the legal services authorities. Because we have very active paralegal volunteers. Like I said, once you join politics, you have to quit becoming a PLV. That's why I said you have to download the paralegal volunteer scheme and read it. Once you join the bar, as a lawyer, you stop, you cannot be a PLV anymore. You join politics, you can't be a PLV anymore. So that PLV who joined the politics had to quit being a PLV. But what I'm trying to say, he did so much successful work, which is why he became popular enough to join the panchayat. Hmm. Sir, I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so that there can be any protection simply because uh, as a paralegal volunteer. But yes, you are a orthoainik bichayat. You have some amount of knowledge and you're working with us. So you have an identity and you're working as a paralegal volunteer. But uh, my point being this that you cannot go against the law or the system. Everybody has to be 
uh, work within the system. You cannot go against and kick up a fuss simply because um, uh, and create a problem. That has to be. That is how I understand. I don't know what sir is trying to say. Sir, what is the of the Well, the source of power, the PLP. Say I'm a PLP member. I have got ample right to do anything else. But under what authorities act of the law? Then I have been empowered. Ah, sir, legal services authorities act. Did you say? Okay. Yes. I hope, sir. Itself gives them. Huh. Sir, Apuni Coxon, sir. I'm asking you. Sir, they, because I don't see that as a, a power, sir. It is a voluntary service. Sir, recruitment or Harry Asses, sir. Scheme cannot accept. Paralegal volunteer scheme cannot be taken in the Asses. Scheme is there, no law. Scheme is there. Scheme is not the law. It is a administrative law. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, but none of us are the policy makers. I mean, law will not now. So we go, we go with what it is, and so we work only within that uh, the boundary that we have. Yeah. So we, so there is already a scheme that governs us how this works, and all of us work within that scheme and be too helpful. So the remuneration is also the honorarium is also uh, fixed by the NALSA. So whatever the honorarium is fixed, we give accordingly. So whatever guidelines are there, we work within those guidelines. So I suggest that all of you should read that scheme of paralegal volunteers so that you know who can be and what are, and when you can be uh, disbanded, when you can will be removed from as a paralegal volunteer also. But this is a very good way to learn and do some bees of some uh, help, work as a volunteer. At the end of it, it's a volunteer service. So we only work as volunteers here. So there is no other thing associated with it. As of now, what Sir suggested that is a uh, futuristic. Ito ito futuristic kotha sir. Let us hope that it happens someday. It will happen someday. It will be sir. Thank you, ma'am. As we come to the end of the program, I would like to call upon stage Ms. Shivani Patnayak, a student of sixth semester, to offer the vote of thanks. Good afternoon, one and all present. It has been a great honor to be a part of this wonderful session. On behalf of the uh, Royal School of Law and Administration, I, Shibani Patnaik, a student of sixth semester, like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to our ex esteemed guest, Ms. Sujata Talukdar, AJS, Member Secretary of District Legal, Legal Services Authority. Thank you so much, ma'am, for taking out your valuable time from your busy schedule and enlightening our students with your valuable words and uh, encouragement. Sincere thanks to Professor Dr. Bhuban Chandra Barwa, sir, Dean Royal School of Law and Administration, Professor Dr. Hiran Chandra Nath, sir, head of the department, and all the faculty members who handled the event throughout. A wide round of applause and thanks to all the students who made the event a memorable one. Finally, I would like to thank you all for being present here and, make, uh, and making uh, your time to be with us today and help us make this event a grand success. Thank you very much.